Okay, um, uh, we are in the uh, land of the Prima uh, 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 where we went yesterday. Yes, um, this is a bigger place. That place is just a small place. And all the questions that we are asking and all that we want to see and know, we will get it here. And we want to spend at least 45 minutes touring every area, answering every question within 45 minutes. So that we'll be able to make time at the other place. Uh, so uh, we have uh, a lady here called Grace. So I asked her whether she's known as Grace or Grace. She said Grace. So she's known as Grace. So please, uh, everyone make fun, you know. Yeah. 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 So she will take us around and explain things to us. Okay. Whatever one is difficult, you call on the manager and then the manager will come in. So please, uh, on your name, sorry. I'm Linda. Linda, a big name. Big English name. <laughs> Linda, what do you think of us? A BBD? A BBD? Your old brother? A brother? A brother? A brother? A brother? A brother? Ah, look at them. Two Tuesday moms. Okay, so you are coming now. As someone said. So please, uh, Linda and then uh, Grace, please just lead us and then let's see what they have. Where are we going to? Do you want to give us a brief history? Yes, all we go Okay, okay. Whatever so, you want to do. Let's yes. start with the history. Then. You are welcome once again to Ghana Prima Culture Thank Institute. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, this institution, the implementation of the whole thing started in the year 2011. And then the land, as we can see, is a degraded land, which um, due to the permaculture principles, we have been trying to make everything successful. When the principles are like we do, uh, we try to connect things together. We try to make things that are not useful to become something that is very useful to human beings and also to create jobs for people who are not having jobs. That are some of the aims of permaculture. Also to make us become food sufficient of our, for ourselves. That is also another aim for permaculture. So this place, the land is just gravels and then we start applying uh, sawdust and then uh, manure to the land. So now as we go around, we will see how we, we have planted things and it's now working. And then when we talk of uh, the, the name permaculture, we have combination of two ways that comes together to give us permaculture. We have permanent culture and then permanent agriculture. Permanent culture is we are trying to conserve ourselves or make ourselves aware that in the olden days there were some things that are existing and now due to a technology most of the things have been changed and we are trying to go back to that system. So in that case this area if you go to places that with the um, technology they are using electricity but when you come here uh, culturally we are using the sun power from the natural sun. So we use only solar around this area to power our machines and everything is solar that we use. And also when they use gas, we also use gas here, but naturally we use biogas. That's, we have both of them, but we are trying to let people understand that if you are at the village or somewhere, you can still experience life as the way people in the cities are experiencing it. And then permanent agriculture too, we are trying to let people know that without fertilizers in the olden days, people are farming organically and then it sustains the land, it sustains the people and also it makes things to go yeah. higher. But now that the fertilizer has taken over, when you farm um, on a piece of land for some period of time and then you don't get fertilizer, you find it difficult to continue with it. But due to the organic or natural activities, we want to tell that farming can still go on. And we also, as I said earlier on about making things useful, we do a lot of recycling here. So as we go around anything, we want to use this. Thank you for now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.